Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Drones are transforming modern era warfare. In a way they can be termed as killer robots. From surveillance, reconnaissance, supply of arms and ammunition or even combat roles, drones are becoming defining features of modern warfare. Almost a year ago, Indian Air Force has witnessed drone attack on its air base in Jammu. While India was celebrating Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, the DRDO's anti-drone system was keeping its eyes from Lal Kila to thwart any misadventure by drones. However, this is not the first time when DRDO's anti-drone system was in action. The DRDO's anti-drone system was first deployed on 26 January 2020 to provide security cover to Republic Day Parade. It was again deployed in Ahmedabad for Modi Trump Roadshow in February 2020 and near Red Fort on the occasion of 74th Independence Day. This shows the level of trust on DRDO's anti-drone system. So let's take this opportunity and try to find out how capable is DRDO's indigenous anti-drone system. The main component of DRDO's anti-drone system is its radar which offers 360 degree coverage from the drone attack. It can detect the micro drones from a distance of 4 kilometers. It also features electro optical or infrared sensors for detection of micro drones up to 2 kilometers. The system also has a radio frequency detector to detect any radio frequency communication happening between drone and its handler from a distance of 3 km. Now, once the drone is detected, it can be neutralized using hard kill or soft kill measures. Talking about soft kill capabilities, DRDO's anti-drone system uses RF or Global Navigation Satellite System GNSS based jammers, which can detect the frequency being used by the operator of the drone and jam its signal from a distance of 3 km. For hard kill measures, it uses laser based hard kill system which can neutralize micro drones at a distance between 150 meters to 1 km. Both the systems, that is hard and soft kill measures, are integrated together via a command and control post. Once a drone is detected by its radar, the information is shared to the soft kill and hard kill system for further tracking after the due verification by a sensor. Once confirmed by RF detector and verified by EOIR sensor, the system is ready to deploy hard or soft kill measures as per standard operating procedures. We have seen two different versions of DIDO's entry rule system. One is vehicle based and another one is ground based. DIDO has also transferred the technology for production of anti drone system to Bharat Electronics Limited BEL. It is also ready to transfer technology to private companies to produce these systems. Now, DIDO's anti drone system is also a proven system with its first kill reported last year in July. The drone was spotted by a system in Jammu in the area near to the Indian Air Force Station. It was flying at a height of around 3 km and with a speed of 9 meters per second. The DIDO's anti drone system installed at Air Force Station was able to successfully jam and destroy the drone. As soon as this was done, the drone fell on the ground. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.